Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Captures here playing the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Welcome back guys. Um, in the last episode we started by picking our starter, which is our Metamech the Scizor. Uh, it is lax nature with the airlock ability. Um, we were only able to catch one Pokemon in every other route or area that we tried, guys. It wasn't a very good start from us. Um, we were able to pick up Sticky Keys, our Volbeat. Um, we literally picked that up at the very end of the last episode. So, we're going to um, continue forward. The first thing we've got to do is go through the Bell Tower. Um, and not that I'm planning on using Sticky Keys a whole lot, but we will uh, move Sticky Keys to the front just for now. Uh, it'd be helpful if we can get him a level or two uh, in order to help us catch other Pokemon because at the moment we're really struggling to catch other Pokemon. So we're going to take on all the trainers from Bell Tower. See what this first monk has. Oh wow. And he has an Electivire. Shout out to our Electabuzz Buzzbox in Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, we will get right out of here. We'll send him Metamech our Scizor. The Electivire went for Quick Attack, which isn't going to do too much damage to us anyway. And we're going to go for a Bullet Punch. Which isn't very effective. And how good is that bug steel typing? Uh, what you would be a super effective attack against a steel type is literally not very effective or neutral. Okay, and I thought we uh, changed the settings last time to say that Pokemon can't swap out, but we mustn't have done that. Um, what I will do is I will change the settings again. If I remember correctly, in this game you actually have to confirm the settings and not just get out of it. So we might have accidentally got out of it. But, easy fix. We'll get that sorted as soon as we finish this battle. That bullet punch should one hit KO a level 3 Golbat. These Pokemon were very strong. Okay, so I'm just going to change it now. Oh. We changed the sound from stereo to mono. Okay, that's the reason where we went wrong. But anyway, it's all fixed up now. I actually couldn't really tell the difference between um, stereo sound and mono sound in all honesty, but... Got another battle here with another monk. For a very uh, peaceful religion, they do like to attack new trainers. Oh, okay, and this guy's got an Electivire too. Uh, we will swap out yet again to Metamech. The Electivire's gone for Leer, which is going to be fine. We're a defensive beast. Uh, except I didn't... I misclicked then and accidentally clicked Bullet Punch, I didn't mean that. I was actually planning on using um, Quick Attack then, but what can you do? Alright, Stickies has grown to level 5 and has learned Double Team, which is good. Okay, so we uh, got a bit of an XP boost just then too. 
Oh, and Kalia's got the uh, download ability which raised her attack, or his attack, I should say. For some reason, I always see Kalia's as girls. Alright, and we have received $288 for beating that monk. Alright, we'll leave stickies, Sticky Keys at the front. What's this? Uh, okay, we found a lava cookie. And we're going to continue to battle every monk in here. I also find it weird that their sprites have hair, yet in the outer, outer battle parts they uh, don't. And we're going to send Metamech out yet again. Rookie went for uh, Poison Sink, which is going to do nothing to us. And a combi, yet again, it's going to do nothing for us. Quick attack would uh, made quick work of that combi. Oh, and a shield on. Uh, we're going to go for pursuit here. Okay, and the shield on's uh, attack missed. That should be the last pursuit that we had to do against um, that shield on then. Oh yes, and Metamech wants to learn False Swipe. We will teach it False Swipe for the early game. We're going to get rid of Pursuit. False Swipe's good, obviously. It leaves Pokemon with only one HP. Um, so it's a really good catching maneuver. I just want to check one more thing. So we do have the battle style set, battle scene on, tech speed to fast. Alright, well that's alright then. Just wanted to double check it all to make sure that it didn't stuff up. And we found a full incense. Which, to be honest, I'm not 100% sure what it does. Alright, after this battle, we're going to move Volbeat from the front, considering it's not really doing anything anyway. Especially against level 6 Pokemon now, we've got to be a bit more careful, so we'll chuck in Metamech again. There's our Red Beast. Okay, so Metamech's going to come in and use a Quick Attack. Might get the one hit KO, maybe not. Dug Trio just held on, and it's got Tri Attack too, so it's uh, going to be not very effective. Just because we're our steel typing, but still. It was able to get the Paralyze on us, which is a bit of a pain. I don't really want to go all the way back, neither. Okay, so we have defeated Scribe Zoe the Monk. Alright, I'm just going to quickly swap out Metamech to the front. I'm also going to have a look if we bought Paralyze Heals. Okay, we haven't bought Paralyzed Heals. But I will use the Lava Cookie just so we don't have to go all the way back. Now, what does Full Incest do? Item to be held by a Pokemon. It is an exotic smelling incest that makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Okay, I don't know why you'd want that. Um, and we've got the Never Melt Ice as well, which we probably won't need as of yet. Oh, what's this? Must be a Legendary. Sure is. You can tell by the uh, cool music in this game that it's a legendary. Oh, okay, and we are unable to escape. Now, this could be dangerous. We're going to go for a quick attack. We are quad super effective against this guy. Thankfully, he went for bite. Alright, we're going to go for another quick attack, and that should kill the Entei. Alright, so we've got to be careful about Entei's. They've got Magnet Pool, so... 
Might be able to get into a double battle here and wipe off both these trainers at once, which will be good. Okay, but we can't. It is a single. And another fire type. He's got a Charmander. I don't think Charmander would know Ember yet. I think it learns at a level 7, so we should be pretty good with this one. Yeah, he went for Scratch, which isn't going to be very effective. Go for another Quick Attack. We do really need a Pokemon that can counter these fire types, or we're going to be in trouble. Even if we could find a uh, U-turn move, or a TM, um, it would be really helpful for our Scizor, because it's obviously a Bug-type move, um, as well as we can get him out of there if we ever need to. Alright, we'll go for a Bull Punch this time. It's Stab. Fineco was able to hold on, but they're pretty defensive. Go for a quick attack to finish it. Metamec gained another 90 experience. And this man's got a Growlithe. Uh, I went for another quick attack, so hopefully the quick attack can one-hit KO this thing. Close, it, did, it does have Ember, we've got to be a bit careful here. We're able to survive. Okay, went for a quick attack, and hopefully we've got enough to get to level 14. And we do. So Metamec is now level 14. He is killing it, our boy. Our red bug boy. Uh, I'll use a potion to heal up here, just in case uh, this monk does have a fire type. See what our uh, rival is talking to the elder about. I mean, considering the guy stole Pokemon, it doesn't really surprise me too much that he's not very nice to his team. He stole them in the first place, so... Okay, we're going to verse the Elder now. I really like how they actually did the Elder and the Sprout Tower in this game. It's really cool because it's like, um... It's kind of like its own little boss area. It's like a gym leader almost. But obviously not to the extreme. I uh, keep forgetting that steel types and water types, water type resists steel. Alright, we'll go for the quick attack, it'll finish it off here, hopefully. Oh, it didn't, it held on. And Kindra's used smoke screen, and it's going to try blinding us. Doesn't want to get hit by another quick attack, but uh, Metamech can see through that smoke, and it hit him with another critical, actually. It didn't just hit him like a normal one, it actually hit him with a crit. Okay, and this guy's got a Chimchar with the Hail ability. Okay, uh, we're going to go for a quick attack, which we missed, unfortunately. He's going for the Leer to lower our defense. Um, hopefully this guy doesn't have Flame Wheel yet. I'm almost certain in saying that it wouldn't, though. It might have Ember. Okay, it's going for Scratch. Maybe it doesn't know any Fire-type moves yet. I'm very surprised that the uh, hail is not doing any damage to anyone. I wasn't doing it to my uh, scissor, or and it wasn't doing it to his uh, chimchan either. Okay, this is a little bit more powerful. Although it is a normal type Pokemon, so it shouldn't be able to do too much damage to us. The hail is not even hurting the Stantler, so I'm not 100% sure what the go is with that. It's really strange, actually, because I thought it would uh, hit at least the Stantler, if not me. Okay, and the Stantler's gone for Hypnosis. I am going to speed up till we wake up, just because I don't have any uh, Awakenings as of yet. Okay, and we're not having much luck on the uh, hitting department. There we are. It only took us about three or four shots that we missed. And Metamech has grown to level 15. He's becoming a strong bug boy. 
Okay, and we received TM70, which I don't believe would be Flash, but we'll see what it is. Thing is, we actually do have a Pokemon that knows Flash now too, so we don't actually even have to worry. Alright, now I want to slowly walk out of here. I don't want to run because that would increase the odds of finding an Entei. And that thing can body the hell out of us. So hopefully it was just that top floor that had the uh, possibility of getting an Entei. And we're going to go and buy some Pokeballs right after this. And see if we can go and get another encounter before we do fight our first Gym Leader. Don't really want to fight a gym leader with just bug type Pokemon. So I'm I'm pretty sure I can get an encounter south of this route. Uh, I know I will heal up first just so we don't die. And we'll quickly speed up. Hey. Okay. So we've gotten, we've all been healed up now, uh, and if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure if we go just down to the left here, we may be able to get an encounter. Alright, we can get a Route 32 encounter. Oh crap, we didn't buy Pokeballs. Oh, that's alright. We can't catch another Volbeat anyway, so that's fine. This is Dupe's Claws, because we do have a Volbeat already. So luckily we did catch that one, otherwise we would have been in a bit of strife. Alright, I'm just going to get out of here quickly, uh, and just check our bag. Do we have any Pokeballs at all? We've got 13. Look, I'm happy with 13 Pokeballs. It's not too bad. Okay, and our encounter for this route is a Hypno, so it's going to be another Pokemon that's not easy to catch. This also has the Snow Warning ability. Now I'm going to go for a False Swipe here. I hope that that snow warning does not work for, uh, for Hypno as well. Okay, yep, so Hypno was not buffeted by the snow. We got False Swipe, so he's literally at 1 HP now. He's fine, he can disable us as much as he likes. Alright, I'm going to go for the Pokeball, and we're going to throw the first ball at this thing now. Hopefully this Hypno is nice and stays in the ball. Okay, almost. Alright, it does no confusion too. I have sped up. Okay, we're up to three times three shakes, so let's hope that we can get it on this ball here. Okay, only got two shakes in. I'm gonna throw another ball at him. Didn't even see that one shake. Come on, Hypno. Join our team. We need some help. Oh, come on. I'll be nice to you, I promise. Oh, okay, and we finally caught the Hypno. Thankfully, we have now got a third member of our team. And it's a pretty good psychic type. I don't mind Hypnos. We will give the Hypno a nickname. And this nickname for the Hypno is going to be... We're going to call him JV. So thank you JV for watching our videos. You now have a Pokemon named after you. Okay. Let's have a look at this Hypno that we just caught. It's of impish nature as well, which... I think raises defense and drops special attack. I think in this game, the red color is what it raises, the blue color is what it drops. If I'm wrong, please let me know, but I don't think I am. Alright, so we also have a psychic type Pokemon now, which is quite good. Um, I'm going to heal up quickly, and then I am going to put our Hypno to the front. Because we really don't have too many Pokemon at the moment. And we'll see if we can encounter one more Pokemon or not. I think that might be it until we can get the Fishing Rod. 
So we'll swap JV to the front. And now we've got our uh, Hypno following us. We're going to go to the Pokemon Mart quickly and sell and buy some items. Okay, we got the Rose Incense, which boosts up Grass-type moves. We can sell the Full Incense, which I am happy to get rid of for $4,800. It's not really too useful for us. Oh, nice. And the TM that we received from the Monkey's Aeroblast, which is quite a good TM, so... I'm very happy with that. Okay, yes, I'm literally going to buy 40 Pokeballs. Alright, I'm going to buy another three potions. And I'm going to buy five antidotes. And if I can get two paralyzed heals, that would be great. I'll get three paralyzed heals. Alright guys, so we got Pokeballs for a fair bit now, which is good. That um that heavy incense or whatever it was came in clutch for us. Gave us some good coin. Now, I don't think you can catch a Pokemon on Route 36. Yeah, no, you can't. And I'm pretty sure this guy here gives us Rock Smash, if I remember correctly. That's what HMO6 is. Yep, Rock Smash it is. Okay, uh, I don't think anyone else gives us any items. And we can actually catch one more Pokemon in the Ruins of Alpha, and we can come back and fish for another one, so... I think it's this one that we need to walk into. Oh, actually, you know what? We may not be able to uh, catch a fish here, because I think this is all considered one area. Oh, yes! Okay! I am super happy with uh, a Bulbasaur as an encounter. Now, please tell me that the snow warning is not going to hurt Bulbasaur. A level 5 Bulbasaur would be absolutely epic. Alright, that's fine. Let him growl at our Metamech. As long as the hail doesn't hurt him, which it doesn't, we're fine. I don't actually know what snow warning does in this game, to be honest, so... But I would love a Bulbasaur. Alright, we are going to throw some Pokeballs at it. We have 46 balls to try to get this thing, and I will happily use every one of them. Because I do love Bulbasaur. Alright, so we're just going to speed it up. Because this thing's probably going to be pretty difficult to catch. So I'm just going to spam as many balls as we can. Okay, and we caught him on the fourth or fifth ball. So we're actually uh, doing a hell of a lot better than what we were. And we are going to name this Bulbasaur again after one of our viewers and commenters. So let's see what we've got. And we're going to name this uh, Bulbasaur Tenacious after Tenacious Fox. Now... I hope I can spell this correctly. So let's have a quick look. Okay, let's just check that we spelt that correctly with a very, very quick Google search, which I am doing right now on my phone. And the well you spell tenacious is. T-E-N-A-C-I-O-U-S. Alright, killed it. First shot. So, happy with that. We now have Tenacious, our Bulbasaur. Which is an awesome addition to our team. Alright, I'm just going to fast forward. Get the confusion off here. It was really weird. Then I'm pretty sure in saying that the uh, hail hurt the Bulbasaur that time. So I've got no idea how the hell that works. Let's see what it actually says under it. This says the Pokemon summons a hailstorm in battle, but it doesn't say anything about it working or not. 
Okay, and our Tenacious has the Cute Charm ability, which is an awesome one as well. So, pretty happy with that. Alright, and we've got, like, a, a team going. I mean, Bulbasaur's obviously not going to be great against fire types, but, uh, that's fine. Still super happy to have that, uh, Grass Poison starter on our team. Okay, we're just going to heal up quickly. And I'm just going to speed up, and we are going to do a very quick grind before we take on the gym. Uh, so, I will fast forward this point from this moment on, uh, so that way then you guys don't have to sit through the grinding sesh. So, we'll be right back guys, and um, see you after the grind. Okay guys, so the grind sesh is over, we'll have a quick look at what we got. We got our sticky keys up by one level, Benamex stayed the same at level 15. We got Tenacious up to level 12, he learned Leech Seed and Vine Whip. Uh, and we also got JV, our uh, Hypno, up to level 8, so we're going to uh, levels as well. We're going to start with JV up the front, uh, with, we've got Tenacious as well as um, Metal Mech, our Scizor. Uh, Metal Mech, our Scizor, to uh, be back up for him. So, hopefully we don't come across a high-level fire type. Because if we do, we're still going to have a bit of trouble. Okay, and Rager Bob starting off with a Suicune. That man is not stuffing around. Okay, so we've got the Snow Warning. We're just going to go for a Confusion first. Suicune starting with a Leer. Okay, Confusion doesn't do too much at all. Alright, I'm going to try putting this man to sleep. Oh god. Okay, we uh, were able to survive that one just. I didn't know this uh, man had a bite on him, so we're going to get out of here... And I'm going to swap into Tenacious. Okay, he's gone for the Leer. We're going to start by... Because um, I don't know how much Vine Whip will do to this man. So I'm going to start by actually Leech Seeding him. Now I've got to remember that he's got two defense drops on us. And he evaded the attack too. It's not an issue, because if we need to swap out to Scizor, we can, but I don't really want to. Let's see how much damage this does. Alright, I didn't do too much. Alright, Suicune was seeded too now. So we should get some XP back from him. Ah, uh, sorry, some health back from him. Okay, and we do. I'm going to go for a Vine Whip. Bubble Beam shouldn't be too effective. 
Yeah, it did less than bite, which is good. And Vine Whip did a decent amount of damage. And hopefully uh, we can finish him off with that Leech Seed. Alright, and we did. So we've uh, defeated our first um, trainer in the gym. JV grew to level 9. Tenacious might grow a level here too. Tenacious grew to level 13 too, which is awesome. Alright, and wants to learn Poison Powder, so we will forget a move for Poison Powder, we'll forget Growl. Um, now... I just want to quickly check what the move accuracy for Sleep Powder is. It's 75. What's the move accuracy for... It's a bit of a hard one, because Sleep Powder will obviously come in a lot more clutch for trying to catch Pokemon. So, look, I'm going to get rid of Poison Powder, even though we just learned it. Alright, so now we've got a Pokemon that can actually help. So, we've got Scizor with False Swipe. Uh, and Tenacious, that can, uh... Put another Pokemon to sleep too, so we've got some good chances of being able to actually catch Pokemon now. As long as it's not a fire type, because if it's a fire type, we're still going to be stuffed. Alright, we're going to fight this last trainer, then we might go out and heal. Oh, wow. Jeez, these guys have so much power. The first two trainers that we've versed in here have got... Legendary Pokemon. Thankfully, the Regigigas only went for uh, Foresight, which is fine. It's going to speed up. I hopefully... Oh, thank you. It's actually got... Um, It's got... Slacking's ability, where it can only attack every two turns. True on. But it's not too bad at all. Um, I'm still going to send him Metamech. So that turn it was loafing around, which means it can't attack. Go for a bullet punch here. It should do good damage. It does. And Regigig is gone for the Confuse Ray, so we're just going to speed it up. Venomek doesn't get confused though, and he attacks that Regigigas. Okay, and a Pidgey, which is fine. We'll stay in, we'll just ball punch it to death. Alright, and I'm just going to quickly run out and heal. And we will take on our first gym in this episode also. Alright, so we're going to take out this gym, and that's going to be the end of this episode, but let's uh, take out Faulkner first. Alright, here we go guys, our first ever gym lead up for the Heart Gold Randomizer Nuzlocke series. Alright, Dancer Kimberly sends out a Meta Charm. So, it's Psychic versus Psychic fighting at the moment. Psych our Psychic moves should be neutral where his won't be. Okay, but he is going for Meditate, so he's raising his attack, which we've got to be careful about. He's gone two Meditates up. Uh, yeah, two Meditates up. I'm going to go for another Confusion here, and hopefully this will take it out. Thankfully, that Medicham was unable to hold on. JV should get a level here. So JV has now grown to level 11. Oh, and a Grumpig. So he had two Psychic type Pokemon. Alright, now we are going to be both uh, not very effective to each other. Yeah, it's not really doing too much at all. Yeah, hopefully this thing doesn't have a mean look or anything like that. I don't think it would. I'm going to go for a Hypnosis. Is this gym leader really using Splash? 
You're meant to be like one of the best trainers around the area and you're using a splash on a Pokemon. I've never been so disappointed with the gym leader in my life. Ooh, okay, that did some good damage to us, so we are definitely going to get out of here. Alright, so we put the Grumpy to sleep as well, which is good. And we're going to swap into Metamech. And while that Grumpig is having its snooze, we are going to come in and bullet punch him square in the head. And just like that, he uh, got bullet punched straight in the face, woke up and splashed his way around. So he doesn't bother uh, attacking us with Psy Wave, which done a hell of a lot of damage to us early on. He decides to use Splash. JV grew another 228 experience, Metamech another 228, Metamech grows to level 16, and we have defeated Dancer Kimberly, also known as Faulkner. So guys, we have received our first badge. We've done it. We're off to a flying start. So from the disappointment that we had in the last episode, episode 1, um... To the comeback that we've come in this episode here. I'm super happy with uh, the encounters that we're able to get. So, that was really good. Um, we will save... Oh, okay. We've got Professor Elm calling us. He's telling me that he has discovered something and that he wants us to take care of the egg. So, we're going to pick up that egg right now. From his aid, Professor Elm's aid. Yes, we would like to take care of the egg. But hopefully the egg is actually something good too. Okay, so uh, this man hand delivered that egg like he was uh, told to. And I am going to buy some items quickly. I'm not going to bother buying Pokeballs just yet. We'll buy another five potions though. I'll buy a couple of, uh, and we'll buy three super potions as well, and that should do us for now. I'm not going to worry about an awakening. We don't really need it. Burn heal, ice heal, we should be okay as well. The main one's just antidote, obviously, because uh, with the antidotes, um, you can be hurt out of battle with it. So Now, uh, we do have one of the Komodo girls that came and talked to us, and she just disappears mysteriously. Alright guys, um, this is where we are going to call it a day. I appreciate you all for watching. Um, please remember to like and subscribe if it is your first time here or if you just enjoyed the videos. Um, so that way then you can follow on with us journey, with our journey. Please do remember to comment as well. Um, I won't forget the question of the day this time neither. So, today's question is what is your favorite bug type Pokemon? Now, mine is a hard one to uh, differentiate between because I do love Scizor, which is our Metamech, but I also do love our Heracross too, from uh, especially from our last series, the Pink Beetle, who came in absolute clutch for us. So, yeah, guys, um, I'm, I can't decide between those two, but I do love that uh, Heracross... The uh, bug fighting type, absolutely legendary typing, and I can't, uh, I definitely do love my uh, scissors as well, so that's steel bug typing too. But uh, yeah guys, please feel free to leave your uh, favourite bug type in the comments. Um, I really do uh, enjoy looking at everyone's opinions and stuff like that, so it would be really good and I'd be really uh, appreciative if you could um, leave your uh, question of the day in the comments. Alright guys, this is where we call it a day. Thank you again for watching, appreciate it. And we will be back with the next episode. Peace out.